Hello and welcome to the Young Turks Dream Decade. I'm Shireen Bhan. Over the next 30 minutes, we travel the length and breadth of the country to bring you India's hottest young entrepreneurs. That's on Young Turks on the Road. On the Young Turks tutorial, we give a young startup to be mentored live on television. And on the YT Buzz, we tell you about everything that's hot and happening in the world of entrepreneurship. So get a quick glimpse of what we have lined up. is generation next of the 1200 crore rupee Samtel group. Puneet Kora decided to spread the company's wings and get into the avionics business. Today, SDS is the manufacturer of high-end technology that caters to military applications as well as avionics in the domestic market as well as internationally. He hopes SDS will touch revenues of 100 crore rupees this year. We send Shruti on the road to find out more about Puneet Kora and SDS. This is the success story of a private sector's entry into the Indian defense manufacturing space. 33-year-old Puneet Kara is spearheading Samtel Group's defense avionic business, Samtel Display Systems. Launched in 2004, SDS manufactures cockpit displays and systems for military and commercial aircrafts. Here's Puneet Kara's story. He is on the runway to success. Chen next of the 1200 crore rupee Samtel Group, Puneet Kora decided to display his mettle by foraying into the defense avionics space. A graduate from Bentley College in US, Puneet returned to India in 2004 after a stint at Samtel Electron Devices in Germany. We caught up with him to know more about his attempt to diversify the offerings of Samtel. Puneet's foray into avionics started with the signing up of an MOU with the Defence Research and Development Organisation in 2004 to develop indigenous technology for cockpit displays for Sukhoi aircraft. Today, SDS is the only private company in India that manufactures avionics products and equipment for military as well as commercial aircraft. But what fueled Puneet's passion to get into avionics? I went to an air show when I was very young. I saw aircrafts flying. Yeah. And then I saw a display for uh, fighter jets. And when I saw a fighter jet flying over my head, so much of passion came in me. You know, I mean, I was just so excited. And uh, I was excited to venture into the group one day or the other. But to venture into a business like this uh, was a dream come true. So what is the product portfolio of the business? We started with manufacturing cockpit displays. Uh, we are diversifying beyond cockpit displays into now moving into avionic suites, so that's the next step. We are also looking at products beyond displays, which was our forte, so we are now getting into products like uh, electronic warfare suites or certain other high-end avionic products that are used by both fighter jets and commercial jets uh, to really become a complete avionics company. All right, so you were pretty much the man behind the Samtel display systems and the HAL joint venture, which happened in 2006. It's the first public-private partnership in defense avionics. How has the joint venture helped, you, helped your company grow forward? This joint venture was really our uh, first brick, uh, as I may say, it, into the defense world. Yes. Uh, Samtel HAL Display Systems uh, is a company which is uh, required to manufacture uh, cockpit displays for different HAL programs, both fighter jets, uh, they have some civilian programs, civil, civilian helicopters. Our whole idea behind this is to create a center of excellence in this country which would manufacture cockpit displays for all platforms, all Indian platforms. So what is the kind of demand that you see for defense and aviation products in the country? What is the potential for growth? Defense, in per se, Indian government is planning to spend about $100 billion sure, over the next 20, five years yeah. uh, and, uh, uh, in capital acquisition. Uh, and another major objective for Indian uh, government is to indigenize or self-reliance. Self Correct. Uh, that's where we come in. In some cases, we are partnering with players, world-class world players who bring the technology, then localize it. In some cases, we are doing it ourselves like what we did with the Sukhoi. Yeah. Uh, but as we move forward, I think there's a lot of potential and uh, gro for growth in the coming years.
Another defining moment for Samtel Display System was when it inked a joint venture with Thales Aerospace in 2008. The sixth largest aerospace and defense company in the world, Thales Aerospace holds a 26% stake in the joint venture. Developing helmet-mounted displays and other avionic systems for fighter aircrafts is what this joint venture focuses on. We are looking at uh, some high-end cockpit displays like helmet-mounted side displays. Sure. Uh, we are now venturing in into some very high-end sensors uh, that the Indian government is looking for. We are also interested in uh, venturing into full cockpit suites, avionic suites. So when will we see all these products in the market and what markets are you looking at selling these products in? We are first focused in the Thales joint venture to sell in India. Sure. Uh, and then globally uh, uh, exploring the opportunities. Some of it is uh, in the pipeline. We expect to start production in that joint venture next year. Samtel Display Systems currently accounts for about 10% of the group's turnover and you plan it to take it to 50% in the next five years. So how do you propose to do that? The Indian defense market is growing. We have best, some of the best partners in the world to bring this technology into the country. And then there are offsets to, uh, which will encourage a lot of global players to buy back from India. And when the, all that is combined, I think that's a very reasonable goal to have. All right, with the new defense procurement policy, what is the kind of business that you expect to do? You know, defense uh, per se, uh, offset is ranging between 30% to 50% sure. on the deal. It's known we are partners with the Mirage 2000 upgrade with, with, with Thales. Uh, we are partnered with a lot of uh, U.S. pursuits like the P-8 with Boeing, uh, some more programs with Lockheed Martin. Uh, so some global majors are already tying up with us for different pursuits. And we are now engaged in defining the work scope. Uh, as these programs are unfolding, the work will, will start. Some of it will kick start this year and some will come in next year. So what are the kind of product lines that you expect will do good business uh, with the offsets coming in? Displays is one, which is our forte. We are diversifying into new def defense avionic products. Then the next step is to go beyond just LRUs but to a system manufacturing. That means full systems, uh, full avionic suites or larger systems like man integrating the radars or some other more complicated avionics. Through strong partnerships worldwide, SDS has built a robust long-term growth plan. In the pipeline are plans to upgrade displays in Airbus 320, 330 and 340 aircrafts and with its recent partnership with Sabi Vitronics, Puneet is also eyeing at manufacturing head-up displays. Looking at grossing revenues of 100 crore rupees this year, Puneet hopes to touch the 500 crore rupee mark by 2016. So what else is on his radar? We are already diversifying into uh, military and navy products. That's one area that we are looking at. Uh, another area that we are interested in is certain technologies that we are developing in defense can be utilized for commercial usage as well. US and UK are the biggest markets for the aerospace industry and you already have the market leaders Honeywell and Thales as partners there. Are you looking at foraying into these markets? We are now planning to expand uh, majorly in the US market. Uh, US uh, is going to come into India in a big way uh, and uh, uh, they have the, some of the best technologies as well. So our idea is to provide uh, some of the technologies we can manufacture here locally, hopefully more competitively than the global majors that are were, uh, already supplying them in the U.S. market and uh, supply them uh, to some of the global majors like Lockheed Martin, Boeing, uh, Northrop Grumman, so on and so forth. So what are the challenges that you face while doing business in this particular sector? This industry is different in the sense it needs a lot of patience. Uh, the turnover took five years to come. Sure. Uh, it does not happen overnight. There's a lot of misconceptions, defense being a global space. If you venture in today, you get a turnover the next year. It does not happen. It, needs its, it take, takes its own sweet time to mature a product, to mature your processes, to mature your project management, to start delivering to the aerospace standards, which is really the epitome. And uh, those are the real challenges which I think uh, we encountered and we are working on to improving them further as we move on to some larger projects. You aspire also to be the front runners in the aerospace uh, industry. How do you plan to do that? Aerospace industry is uh, very wide. Uh, avionics is just one part of it. I think uh, anywhere between 25 to 35 percent of the value of an aircraft is uh, avionics. And we are really working on that space right now. Engines and mainframe and all that is not what we are interested in. We are expanding the product portfolio. We are expanding the the depth of our uh, technology, uh, that is the main focus for us. And once we do that, I think uh, a very large portion of that 35% of an aircraft can be captured by us.
All right, Puneet, we hope you spread your wings far and wide. Thank you very much for joining us on Young Turks. Thank you, Shruti. Puneet, do log on to our Facebook page and share your story of being a second generation entrepreneur and diversifying into a new business. Thanks very much for sharing your story with us. Time for us to take a break, but when we return, from clip to click, a company that claims to manage all your data on the web. Clito in a Young Turks tutorial with Saurabh Srivastava.